In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, one name echoed across the landscape of American industry and wealth, John D. Rockefeller. Renowned as a business magnate, philanthropist, and the founder of the Standard Oil Company, Rockefeller's legacy endures as a symbol of both the unparalleled success and controversy that surrounded the rise of his oil empire. Hi! Welcome to Business Insights Channel. For this video, we will delve into the intricacies of how Rockefeller established his immense oil empire, exploring the strategic brilliance, ruthless tactics, and lasting impact that define his journey to become the titan of oil. So sit back and relax and let's get right into it. To comprehend Rockefeller's colossal oil empire, one must trace its origins to the founding of the Standard Oil Company in 1870. At the time, the oil industry was fragmented, characterized by numerous small firms engaged in exploration, extraction, refining, and distribution. Rockefeller saw an opportunity to consolidate this chaotic landscape and bring efficiency to the industry. Rockefeller's masterstroke lay in horizontal integration, a strategy of acquiring or merging with competitors operating at the same stage of production. By doing so, he could eliminate redundancy, cut costs, and establish a monopoly over each segment of the oil production process. Standard Oil's rise to power was swift, as Rockefellers strategically acquired refineries, pipelines, and distribution channels, solidifying his grip on the industry. The Railroad Rebates and Secret Deals Rockefeller was not content with mere dominating the production chain. To ensure the success of Standard Oil, he recognized the pivotal role of transportation in the oil business. During this period, railroads were the primary mode of transporting oil across the vast American landscape. Rockefeller astutely negotiated secret deals and secured rebates from railroad companies, giving Standard Oil a competitive advantage by significantly reducing transportation costs. The railroad rebates were a double-edged sword. Not only did they fuel Standard Oil's growth, but they also raised concerns about unfair business practices. Competitors were left at a disadvantage, struggling to match the transportation rates granted to Rockefeller's company. This strategic maneuvering, though controversial, played a pivotal role in establishing and expanding the reach of Standard Oil. In 1882, Rockefeller took his consolidation strategy to the next level by forming the Standard Oil Trust. The trust was a legal mechanism that allowed Rockefeller to consolidate the assets of various affiliated companies under a single board of trustees. This corporate structure granted Rockefeller unprecedented control over a multitude of oil-related enterprises, further solidifying Standard Oil's dominance. The trust mechanism was not only a testament to Rockefeller's financial acumen, but also a response to mounting legal challenges. Critiques and competitors accused Standard Oil of violating antitrust laws and engaging in monopolistic practices. In response, Rockefeller transformed the corporate structure to maintain control while adapting to the evolving legal landscape. The Kerosene Revolution and Global Expansion while Standard Oil initially focused on refining kerosene for lamps, Rockefeller's empire adapted to the changing energy landscape. The widespread adoption of electric lighting posed a threat to the kerosene market, prompting Rockefeller to diversify into other petroleum products such as gasoline. This strategic pivot allowed Standard Oil to thrive amidst technological advancements and changing consumer preferences. Furthermore, Rockefeller's empire expanded beyond American shores. Standard Oil established a global presence by investing in overseas markets, securing oil fields in places like Russia and Asia. 
This international expansion not only fueled the empire's growth but also positioned Standard Oil as a key player on the global stage. As Rockefeller's wealth soared, so did his commitment to philanthropy. In 1913, he founded the Rockefeller Foundation, which became one of the world's largest and most influential philanthropic organization. The foundation focused on addressing societal issues, advancing education, and promoting scientific research. While Rockefeller's philanthropic efforts were laudable, they also sparked debates about the moral implications of his vast wealth. Some argued that his charitable contributions were a form of redemption for the ruthless business practices that defined the establishment of his oil empire. Regardless of the motivations, the Rockefeller Foundation's impact on areas like public health, education, and scientific research cannot be overstated. The Legacy and Controversies John D. Rockefeller's oil empire left an indelible mark on the American and global economy. The impact of Standard Oil is still felt today as its descendant companies continue to play a significant role in the energy sector. However, Rockefeller's legacy is not without its controversies. The aggressive tactics employed by Standard Oil including predatory pricing, secret deals, and monopolistic practices led to the company's eventual breakup in 1911 following an antitrust lawsuit. The Supreme Court ruled that Standard Oil was in violation of the Sherman Antitrust Act marking a historic moment in the regulation of corporate power. John D. Rockefeller's journey to establish his immense oil empire was a complex interplay of strategic brilliance, ruthless business practices, and social impact. The creation of Standard Oil reshaped the oil industry, demonstrating the power of consolidation, vertical integration, and global expansion. While Rockefeller's legacy is tainted by controversies and legal battles, it also includes a significant philanthropic contribution that continues to benefit society. The story of Rockefeller's oil empire serves as a historical lesson, illustrating the potential consequences of unchecked corporate power and the importance of ethical business practices. As we reflect on the titan of oil and his enduring impact, it prompts us to consider the balance between entrepreneurial success and societal responsibility in the ever-evolving landscape of industry and commerce. What do you think about this topic? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Business Insights channel. I'll see you in the next video.